Royal Rumble 2024 is in the books at last. And I'm going to go back to what I said a year ago. Who was the guy that said, if you've been sub to this channel, who was the guy that said that right when WrestleMania 39 ended, right when Roman Reigns pinned Cody Rhodes, I made a video and a tweet. It is on this channel as proof where I said... They're probably going to have Cody lose to Roman this year and then win next year. That way he has a full year of obstacles to overcome. He overcame Brock Lesnar after three matches. He overcame their, his few with the Judgment Day and the, the uh, War Games. He now won the Royal Rumble and overcame CM Punk. We're going to get to more on that later. So this is now the road being paved for Cody Rhodes. But all I kept hearing was The Rock and CM Punk and... No, the, it was always Cody Rhodes, and this is not the Vince McMahon company, especially after the past few days. It ain't Vince's company anymore, and Triple H is the kind of guy who sticks to his guns, and if they're going to do Rock and Roman, which they probably will do, it's probably going to be at Saudi or next year's WrestleMania. This year, the story is already going to be finished with Cody Rhodes. We're going to go back to the beginning and talk about that and go over the whole show here on this post game. Usually I do these alone, but I do have some friends with me that were with me. They came to the show with me. I went to the show live. I have not yet seen it on Peacock, so I can't make any, I won't be saying anything about the Peacock version because I haven't seen it yet. Um, but please welcome back to the channel, Carol. Hey, what's up? And uh, Frank Lopez is here. Hello. He's not a content creator, are you? No. Except for Twitch, when you play Spider Man once every once, once in a, a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Was, like <laughs> not consistent with Twitch. Sorry. Yeah. So. Well, it's okay. It's very hard. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about last time Carol was here. We were talking about AEW something. It was, well, I think we're talking about the Kenny. What were we talking about? The Kenny Hangman story. Was that the video? I think so. Or it maybe, must have been like in 2021. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think. Or maybe some AEW issue. It was something with AEW. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is not AEW. This is WWE. Even though the Royal Rumble's last two guys, what, two years ago were both in AEW. It's kind of interesting that that's kind of three years ago were in AEW. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting how that played out. So let's go back to the beginning of the show. Uh, they started the show with a Hulk Hogan uh, narrated promo about the Tampa St. Petersburg area, which I pop for because I'm from this area. It's in my backyard, literally. Uh, I don't live in Tampa or St. Pete. I live in one of the surrounding cities, but I kind of grew up here. So this is like my hood. And I was at the show, as I mentioned. Uh, they announced 48,044 people. The building looked pretty full. Um, the, they didn't have any fans in the dugout area. Obviously, it's a baseball stadium, but from what we could see, most of the seats were full. About most, just about. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, about. yeah. There was a couple empty ones, but not that many. Um, forty-eight thousand forty-four is a good number. And uh, so Hogan has this awesome video package. We see Dusty, maybe we've even see Randy Savage in it. And then they open the show with Pat McAfee. Now that college football is over. Pat McAfee is back doing commentary. I was actually a little upset because I wanted to hear Pat McAfee on WWE Peacock or whatever, which I'll probably watch it later tonight, if not tomorrow, just to see like the highlights. But um, in case you were wondering, y'all, Pat McAfee was also in the Royal Rumble, and if you're wondering why they did that with him, very likely it's because that was going to be Brock's number. After the Vince McMahon paperwork came out a few days ago, Brock Lesnar was named as being one of the guys who may have participated in Vince's strange sexual behavior. And because of that, there was talk all weekend that they might remove Brock from the match or change what was going to happen in the match. So if they were going to do that, the most logical place for them to do it would have been where Pat McAfee was. Because yeah. I feel like McAfee knows how to take bumps and knows how to work but probably because they already had the rumble set up. They didn't have time. He probably might not even be in wrestling shape. Yeah. So maybe yeah. he didn't want to do it. He didn't take a shirt off at all. Like show. Super last minute. Be like, all right, let's just right. Like last minute. There. Yeah. And have like Omos and, 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 uh, uh what's his name? Uh, Braun Breaker. Yeah, like, like staring yeah. at him. <laughs> yeah. Like awkwardly for like a minute or two. And then he, he backed out because that's not even a Pat McAfee's character. No. Nah. Like he's the kind of guy who would go in there and fight somebody. Don't forget, you know who has a pinfall victory over Pat McAfee at WrestleMania? Oh, God. Oh, oh God. You remember? Don't even remind Isn't me. Isn't that weird? Isn't that the yeah. weirdest thing? Yeah, mm. before he took one of the shittiest stunners I've ever Let seen. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> uh, no, I want to ask you a serious question for a minute. 
is all this stuff like that has come out about Vince. When you go back and you watch, for example, the beer bath, or when you watch Austin with the Zamboni, any of those great moments where he embarrassed himself, does it make you feel weird enjoying that now, knowing all the weird shit he was doing, he was into, or are you able to still enjoy those moments for what they were and just look at him as being a goof? I think like it'll probably take a while, but I could probably separate, you know, from that. Vince from that. It's not the Benoit thing. Yeah, like, it's like same with like Benoit. I, 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 I still watch Benoit matches and I still put the guy over as far as a wrestler goes. Yeah. But nothing else. Nothing, not about, you know, personal you know? life or anything like And that. no matter what, you can't deny everything that Vince has done for wrestling. It's, and that's why this is such a, a hurtful thing for fans because we knew the guy was a freak. We knew the guy was into weird shit, but... And I'm not editing this out, but um, but it, the stuff that's coming out now is so far to the extreme beyond that that I do wonder. Like, I'm gonna test myself out in the next few weeks and watch some old stuff with Vince and see how I feel about it. Cause I can watch Benoit yeah. and marvel at his athleticism. Vince is not really an athlete, you know. What do you think? I mean, for me, it just makes some segments that like. Uh, that's, At first, there are back some. then, didn't make sense to me. Now makes sense. Like all the fascination. The Trish stuff. Yeah, the Trish stuff. The fascination with poop. It. Eh, him uh, constantly being with some of the uh, women backstage. Uh, we thought that was just him, like living out his fantasies in real life. It turns out he might have. He was already doing that, yeah. or living out his fantasies in the storyline yeah. world. But let's go, speaking of women, we're not going to talk about that. We're talking about the Royal Rumble. The Women's Rumble opened the show. Uh, we got an early surprise. So the number one, who was number one? Natalia, Natalia, right? Number two was Naomi. Now, Which popped the hell out of me. Right, right. Now, we, we had heard that she was finishing up with TNA because she dropped the title to Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace had the rematch. Jordan Grace won. At TNA, um, uh, Hard to Kill, which I did watch. I didn't review it, but I did watch it later that night, and I did enjoy it. I had it on in the background. Yeah. I was working on it. It was a good show. And um, and we were wondering, like, okay, they've already had Mickey James as the TNA Women's Champion be in a Rumble. So they have a little bit of a relationship with TNA. I can't say they're partners. It's not a forbidden door type of thing. It's yeah. like we're going to bring up a couple of women once a year. It doesn't hurt anybody. It helps TNA out yeah. because Jordan Grace was in there with some real tough people. And here's the way I see it. If TNA is going to end up being like a feeder company for WWE, like if it's going to sort of become its unofficial, like what Evolve used to be, right. yeah. where it's like the unofficial, like, you know, like if like if WWE calls Josh Alexander, for all we know, right, TNA might say, okay, you can have him, but can we borrow Naomi for, for a pay-per-view? Right. You yeah. know, going back to being Trinity again. They could, I, I could see something like that, but I don't think we're going to get like WWE versus AEW matches. No, that's no, that's no, not no, happening. No, 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 it's no. just for the Rumble, yeah. 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 So, but that was the big shocker. So number four, number three was Bailey, yeah. who wound up winning the entire thing. Yeah. That was your pick. That's my pick. Mm-hmm. And then number four was Jordan Grace, the reigning TNA Knockout Champion. Yeah. I don't know if Michael Cole, I mean, I'm sure he said it on the Probably broadcast. Said, like, women, like TNA yeah. Women's Champion. Now, they did the same thing with Mickey a couple years back. Right, and I feel like, I don't think she's jumping ship. I think she's no, still going to be no. TNA Champion, but she's had the Rumble appearance. Yeah. yeah. But, I think this was almost like an unofficial tryout. Like I think, which is possible. Down the road mm-hmm. she'll come but in. Down the road she'll probably. And then the other road. surprise that we got was Jay Cargill. Was that it? Were there any other surprises? No, no. Lita, no Trish. Yeah, no, no Lita, no Trish. No, no Michelle McCool. No, no Kelly Kelly. We didn't really have like delay. It wasn't like no it was pretty AJ much, Lee. It was pretty much no like, AJ Lee. Yeah. That was a big one. No yeah. Sasha Banks. No Sasha Banks, who might already be signed to T- or to AEW. Mm-hmm. What yeah. were we gonna say? Because like there wasn't really like any legends. No, like, you know, like yeah, yeah, there wasn't, the, the, we didn't get, like, extreme expose or anything yeah. like that, oh, we, we Kelly, didn't Kelly get, Kelly 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 Kelly. Kelly. We, got, we got Liv Morgan, that's right, number right, three. that was, that she was a surprise, it was an active roster member, yeah. but, but, she'd but been she'd been, been on TV, right, right. Like she was gone for a while, yeah, no Alexa Bliss, I thought that one might have been number 30, no, I don't think she's ready, because she just had a literally just, she literally so, just gave birth to. She's probably gonna wait till. Oh, was it two months ago? Two yeah. months ago. She's okay. Not. So she's probably gonna wait. I, I till thought it was like maybe like four months ago. Yeah. No, you know end of November she gave birth. Like she'll probably okay, wait till then. after she drops a baby weight, then come back. Right. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Um, but those are the only surprises. Now they did a spot 
during we'll go over like what spots y'all remember because I don't want to go through I don't want to record this is all going to be based off of memory right. it doesn't matter we they did a spot with where um, first uh, Piper Niven was like the big sort of Andre the Giant like she's the big monster yeah. just beating everybody up and then um, and actually Naomi was in there for a long time yeah. she was there till like the final six I think like something like something that. that something like that um, she may have the record uh, for like in for women. Royal Rumble. Uh, I, no, I, no, no. Rhea Ripley has no, the record. Rhea, because she was Rhea number one all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she might be in the top three. And then three. Liv ended up being runner up. Yeah, funny enough. Right. Funny enough. And so now she's 30. Yeah, yeah. She started at number two, runner up. Started at number 30, runner up. Were you disappointed there was no AJ Lee? Uh, nah. No. Nah. Uh, like, I, I. Really? I thought you'd be disappointed there was no I mean, AJ I'd Lee. I'd be very excited, but, like, it doesn't hinder my enjoyment of the show. That's fair. Like, no, I, I mean, that's fair. I don't want to take my chance putting, it, putting myself on the island. Like, if it happens, it happens. If not... Then right. let me ask you this. A similar question. Were, be honest. Were you let down that The Rock wasn't in the male rumble? No. Fuck no. No. Okay, I wasn't I never, either. I, never, I thought I was the only one. Because I never put no. myself there. Oh, oh what if The Rock, Rock pops up? Everybody there was. There were there were lots of people chanting yeah. for The Rock. But, but here's the thing. I knew... Because everybody kept talking about how during that gender segment, Rock was, was huffing and puffing... I knew the only way he'd be in this rumble is if he was number 30 or not in it at all because right. I don't think he's in ring shape. Nah, no. His last match was 2013. Yeah. Well, full on match. Shit. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's true. Because WrestleMania wrong. 32, the yeah, Rowan, yeah, yeah. but that was, was one spot. Was like, yeah, one spot. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. then, he probably wasn't even in ring shape. So. Right, right, right. That's, that's what I'm saying. So, it, But so for quick. the rumble, they could have done a thing where. He's number 30, and they kind of mask him a little yeah. bit. Someone takes him out, and then he wins at the end. But I feel like the audience now, I think that's more of a Vince thing. I think the audience that watches wrestling now, Cody's over. Cody's the guy. Cody's the future. The Rock is a significantly bigger star than Cody Rhodes outside of wrestling. Yeah, mm-hmm. He can access things that Cody wouldn't even come close to getting. But I think bringing The Rock in now and having him win the Rumble and face Roman in a match that everybody knows is going to be the winner of would actually hurt WrestleMania. A lot of people are going to disagree and say, oh, well, no, you know, The Rock would add eyeballs. I think The Rock is still going to be at WrestleMania. He'll make an appearance. We just don't, we we could just hypothesize. He's what what? Well, I know what he's going to do. We'll talk about that at the end of the show. I'll I'll tell you what The Rock's going to do. Right. But but um, they can still advertise him like, oh, The Rock will be at WrestleMania. But if they do like the match, I don't think he. I think he needs more time to get in shape, bro. You think Mm -hmm. they hold off so? Because the thing people don't understand about wrestling is, even if you're a, a lifelong athlete, like. Rock, who was a football player, when you leave wrestling and you do acting for like 10 years, you there's a certain kind of cardio because it's running and it's down, up, down, up, running because yeah. you're taking Cause back you're bumps. Like doing yeah. It's bumps up, running, bumps up, running. So you have to be, you have to basically be a gymnast as well as be tough and have tough skin like, to handle it. Or like have do. Free and have cardio like a freaking ultra marathon. But that's what I'm saying. And The Rock's ten years older than he was when he wrestled John Cena. So he's probably so nowhere near. He's probably nowhere near shape. And if yeah. they have a match, it'll be a lot of smoke and mirrors. I don't think right. Rock and Roman are gonna have like an Austin Rock level match. No, 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 no. no, no. no. But but no Rock. I, I wasn't let down either. Honestly, no. if The Rock did come out and throw Cody out, it would have probably pissed me off. Yeah, it would, it, it'd be the like, most like, like, to I have ima- The Rock do. I guess for me, it's like. I can't imagine why anyone would want The Rock to appear at the Royal Rumble, appear as number 30, or eliminate Cody Rhodes because it feels like, and it is him essentially swooping in yeah, because he's bored and then trying to hustle himself into a WrestleMania And CM event. Punk complained about that yeah, that's what CM the Punk last time. About. And it's, now CM Punk now is, Punk is in that role. Now he's there. Mm-hmm. But at least CM Punk is like a full-time wrestler. Right, right. The true. Rock kind of just... The Rock doesn't need WrestleMania. So no. I was never no, he, into the idea of him going into the Royal Rumble and would not have been disappointed if he didn't show up and clearly that's what happened. So He doesn't need WrestleMania, no. but from what everybody says, his big thing is he wants to break a box office record before he retires. Like That's what he wants to do. Right. It's like a bucket list thing. He wants to see if he can do it one more time. Mm-hmm. So I don't know about Saudi and how their box office will work, but if they're going to do Roman and Rock at WrestleMania 41, I don't know where they could have it at. 
It could be Wembley for all we know. Right. And then they could say, they could say we broke AEW's record. You got your record, Don't broke the that. rock. Because no. they're going to try to. Yeah. You know? Or uh, they, oh, they they're going to. Wembley, yeah. No. They're, immediately, they're going to no, do it. No, I think if WrestleMania goes to the UK, it's going to be in Wembley. Yeah. I think yeah. they, they have to. It's almost like, because this is the thing, even though WWE is owned by Endeavor, wrestling is still a carny business. These guys love to play dick games with each other. Of Both course. of them do. Both of them do. Like, look at this Royal Rumble, bro. CM Punk and Cody were the last two the guys last in there, two. bro. Yeah. How many lines did fucking Khan do uh, during that, the last exchange there, bro? Yeah, Jesus Christ. You're, you're not going to comment on it, are you? I remember, they have enough time to basically not, have a match. Not so. enough, clearly. Not enough lines? Not enough lines, clearly. Not enough to be typing in all caps on Twitter. Carol's not going to reveal her true thoughts on Tony Khan right here. She doesn't want AEW Twitter to fucking flip on her, bro. <laughs> She's taking it with they her to the grave. They already have. They can flip it on me as well. Yeah, well, she was cheering for CM Punk, even though she's an elite fan. And the last show I saw with her, she had a sign that said the elite paid for this seat. Right? Is that what it said? You can guess what wrestling fans? You can like both. Wow. Exactly. It's like we don't live on Twitter or something. <gasps> you're going to piss them wow. off. Now you're going to piss them off. You're going to piss them off now. I can like both the punk, both CM Punk and the Young Bucks. <laughs> who won the fight though? Hmm? Who won the fight though? Who won the fight? I don't even I don't know who won the fight. They, they, they never we never Larry, found out who Larry won. won the fight. Yeah, A Steel A Steel's wife won the fight. <laughs> That's a whole different fight. Yeah. Yeah, sure. not under the so were there any other moments? Okay. So Jay Cargill had the big moment where they had Nia Jax and I remember Frank, you either one of y'all are a witness. Did I not fucking say that the best way to debut Jay Cargill is to have her body slam Nia Jax? Yeah. yeah. You did. And they literally and they did, did that. Did. And Jade to her credit, look, Carol knows this. Carol and I went to AEW Revolution. During her match, I went to go take a piss. I am not a Jay Cargill fan because she didn't know how to work. Now that she's in NXT, she's gotten the proper training, and WWE is real good at using big people. Yes, they, that's what they're good at. And Jay Cargill, her whole thing was she's charismatic and she's jacked. She's got like a six pack. Like she's got yeah. arms bigger mm-hmm. than a lot of the guys. Her and Rhea Ripley are like monsters, you know. Like oh, imagine, they're, that. They're, imagine they're, that match in the ring or <laughs> in elsewhere. the in the ring in the ring. In the ring. You got a sick mind, Frank. You got a sick mind. <laughs> That's not that sick though. But listen, so Jade Cargo goes goes in there, and they do the stare down, and she got a pop. You, oh, she, yeah, and yeah, yeah. was her music the same one? Yeah, it's the same. It's about the same. It sounded like it. What? What was? So that so that music she had in AEW might not have been Tony's. It might yeah. not have been. So, it might like, have been her shit, like the so. Edge and the yeah, yeah. and Cody's music. Because the storm is coming was the same. Because that was in the beginning of the theme. You know, in the beginning of the theme, right, where right, right, like right, right, right. Storm is coming. It was the same thing here. Yeah, right, right. So it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like as soon as I heard it, I was like, "Oh wait, this is the music. I'm waiting for that guitar to kick in." Well, so was it the same music? Yeah, it's the same. So it's the same. Okay, yeah. he confirmed it then. Mm-hmm. So okay, she comes in and she picked her up in like a Death Valley driver yeah. position, like a fireman's carry. Yeah, which was even more impressive. I thought she was gonna body slam her like Hogan, but no, she did the yeah, like, yeah. the the she FU. Her, she's like, like John she Cena, but yeah. the female version. Like you know how Cena has that natural strength. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, Dude, she picked up light and eye like she wasn't even that big. Yeah, she's that's the one thing. So it's look, AEW. I think when you look at AEW, the way they present their wrestling, I think that they're they're. They're probably best at presenting like crazy moves, like shit that you yeah. see like the Bucks or like the um, Lucha, or like, yeah, yeah, any of those guys do, Lucha right? Does. But WWE is real good about doing like crazy strength feats, yes. like, and they've always done this, yes. going back to like Tony Atlas and Dino Bravo. So you've got Jake Cargill, like AEW never really did like we didn't really see Jake Cargill slam like Nyla Rose or anything, no. right? No, no. That was, see if they had done that, it would have been like whoa, like a like big ass moment. That would be get people on her side. Like strength feats are impressive, and so what they did was they matched up Jay Cargill with Bianca Belair because they're both the athletes. So they were going at it a little bit in the Rumble. They were first about to go at it, and yeah, then remember the women the stare down. It was like oh, and then the women hurt. jumped them, and then they later on went at it. Yeah, and the whole thing was who's in better shape. But Bianca did some pretty crazy stuff in this Rumble as well. She did this like move where she was in the middle turnbuckle and suplexed somebody, superplexed them in the ring but held on. Yeah. Yeah. Which, but Bianca Belair 
is insanely strong. That's like a powerful woman. Like she picks you up for a suplex. I think as far as pure strength goes in wrestling, like for women, mm -hmm. it would be Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, and um, Rhea Ripley. Yeah. yeah. Like those three. That's good. I would think maybe Shayna Baszler, but I'm starting to think that Ripley might be stronger as far as like weightlifting goes. No, Ripley's as far as being able to lift someone, like definitely Rhea. But they're all, they're all big. But anyway, so Bailey wins the Rumble. Becky comes. Well, first of all, Becky came in to fight Nia Jax, and uh, Becky was in the Rumble. She did not win. That was my pick. She did not win. Bailey won. So, well, the, real quick before we get to the finish, were there any memorable spots you want to discuss about the Women's Rumble that our come to mind? Our truth running out. That's right. Uh, our, our truth. Our truth, <laughs> our truth ran out during the wrong Rumble. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Dark. And he came out, and I said, "I go. He's probably gonna come out with the same number later on," and he did. But that's good kind of comedy. I don't know how our truth went from being like an actual competent wrestler since he was K quick to now being a complete moron. I Maybe mean, they'll explain it. I mean, honestly, with his long career, he kind of just deserves to coast. No, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying uh -huh. within the within yeah. the canon of WWE, we saw him come out as K quick in 2000. Mm -hmm. Then he became Ron Killings in TNA. Came back in 2008 as R Truth. Was this? Remember how he first came yeah. back? He was at the guy from the streets trying to tell all the kids you can make it, doing the what's up rap. Now he's just a complete buffoon. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that's bad, <laughs> but how do they explain how he went from having a regular functioning brain to being like. To you, just being a goofball? Yeah, how do they. To being one of the bushwhackers. The 24 7 title made him brain rot. No, 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 no. It happened way before that. Because here's the thing. It was the whole, it was the whole little Jimmy thing. That's what started it. Bro, oh, you're right. That Jimmy, is what yeah. started it. But here's what's wacky about that, though. When the sheep herders left the NWA and went to WWF as the Bushwhackers, I could buy that because the WWF universe is like a separate universe from the rest of yeah. wrestling. Like Dustin becoming Gold Dust. I, I get it. But. This is like in the same universe. The same universe. It's the same canon. Okay, whatever. We're thinking too much about our truth here. What was your uh, moment of the female rumble that you liked? No, the women's there was rumble. One, okay, no, Tiffany Stratton was not, not a woman from NXT. Awesome. Yeah. That's well, they bad. brought up from NXT. They brought her up and they, Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez, and there was also the two the tag team champions that, that they had already been brought up, but they were in this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was that it? Was there somebody else? Was there somebody else from NXT and in the women's rumble? No. Let, me, let me double check real quick because I think it was just Roxanne and Tiffany. Yeah, and like yeah, I said, yeah, it was just Roxanne. And they Tiffany. had Zoe in there, but they didn't. Zoe have, Stark, she, they didn't have Trish come out and get her revenge because they still have that story to close up. Yeah. So right now for WrestleMania, let's talk about the, where the women's picture is looking. So Io versus Bailey is the match. You think? I think They're so. going to do the reverse yeah. evolution? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, EO versus Bailey. They've they already like, planned the seeds for the turn. So how do you feel about Jay Cargill one-on-one, -on -one, Bianca Belair, mm. and, and, and just a one-on-one -on -one match? I've wanted it for months. You know what I would do? Not just do the pure sports build, like them in the gym and, you know, mm -hmm. you know the, but also, like, I would love it if they went back to 80s WWF and had them doing like a pose down or had uh, them doing yeah. a weightlifting mm -hmm. competition who could do more yeah. push-ups. Like remember NXT did like stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love it if every week on Raw we got like Bianca Belair versus Jay Cargill in a jogging. Who can sprint faster? Oh, yeah. Who can, you know, and that would be fucking awesome because then whoever ends up losing those can then say, yeah, but wrestling and fighting is different than all this shit. Exactly. They could even do, dude, they'd be so awesome, right? I wish, man, I got to talk Triple H. <laughs> Imagine if they rented out one of those little Olympic pool like places where they have the divers and they had Jade and Bianca swim, have a swimming race. They could do shit like that, bro. Like, why, why not? Like, every week you have a different segment. Like, Bianca versus Jade's um, athletic exhibition. Yeah. There we go. There you go, bro. And it's different. They don't they don't build matches like that, bro. Now, if it was AEW, Bianca, I challenge you to a match at WrestleMania. I accept. That's it. That's, That's your it. AEW build. <laughs> That's a real. That's your AEW build right there. All right. So, I like the Women's Rumble. Um, it probably wasn't my favorite. I think 2019 was my favorite. The one that Becky. Yeah. Remember, she ran in and won. Do you have a favorite Women's Rumble? The Bianca one wasn't bad. That was during the pandemic. Yeah, but I do like you have a favorite? One. Um, the 2019 one was my favorite. So I'm on the same page with you. What was your favorite women's rumble? For the women's? For the women. 
I'd probably go with the one Bianca one. That was 2021. Yeah, because yeah. that was the one yeah. with Bianca and Rhea were the last two. And oh. Well, what I loved about that was, yeah, they were the last two. Me and JD were watching that show live, and when she cut the promo where she was like, I want to thank God, we looked at each other and we were like, they're saying God on television? Because you can't really say that anymore. Like, religion yeah. and politics are kind of, like, forbidden in wrestling. But Miro I mean, does the, I, the I'm God. I mean, Sean God also mentioned God in his retirement speech. Yeah, so. but that was a retirement speech. We're talking about in storyline. Yeah. Like, because they, because Sean will come out and he'll do that thing where, you know, he gets on his knees. Yeah, you know that pose yeah. he does? Uh -huh. But he doesn't actually discuss God in a promo. We haven't heard God in a wrestling promo outside of Miro besides Bianca since when? Since the Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Oh, speaking of which, this is God got his revenge, bro. That's why this is happening now. Maybe he shouldn't. Have, maybe he shouldn't have booked himself to get a win over God. That's what happened. I'm sorry. Are you okay? No, I'm good. That's what happened, though. He pissed off God. What else would make sense? God was like, God God saw he was making fun of him and he was up there like, all right, just give me a few more years. Give me a few years. Keep acting up. Yeah, I'll wait till he puts on flinching. But you know, but, but you know why? But do you know, I'm not just saying that to be funny. There is more to it than that. Remember, Vince first met Linda at church. At church. Yeah. And he admitted that the first thing he saw was her big knockers, which I can't blame him. But buddy, you're in church. And I think she was like 14 or something like that. She was like young, right? Young. I think she was either 14 or 16. Man, we should have known. Yep. The clues were all there, there bro. All the, <laughs> the clues were all there. Okay, anyways. Anyways. Um, nah, because I was talk I was about to talk about a spot. I think Tiffany's trying to have Bianca's hair at one point to try to avoid getting eliminated. Yeah. that was That's right. And she yeah. was upside down. Yeah. That was good yeah. shit. That was good shit. Oh, also, when Naomi came back, uh, she got a welcome back chant and got visibly emotional. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, did that you. Was very sweet. And so did like, you. Fuck. And so did you. I mentioned it to so you. So did you. I saw you though. I saw you. Yeah, she was visibly emotional. And the thing about Naomi's weird. Mm -hmm. I've never been a big Naomi fan. Like really? No, I haven't really? until until she did the team with Sasha. That's when I started yeah. liking her. That's what. Because prior to that, like, I'm not saying I'm not saying I, I disliked her. It's just that, like, of all the women on the roster, I was more into, like, Sasha, B Bailey, yeah. Becky. Naomi was kind of like, uh, like, she wasn't in that clique. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah she was yeah. a Funkadad or Funkadactyl or whatever. Funkadactyl. Yeah, she, she, she's more like, Naomi's kind of in that, like, Bella Twins era before we got, like, this, like, remember that era where we had, like, the early women's revolution, but the Bella Twins were still at the top? She's really, like yeah. from that era, you know what I mean? Yeah. She's not, like, from the NXT era. I don't put her in the NXT girls, even though she was yeah, there. Yeah, she was more like FCW. Right. Before. Yeah. Yes, literally she was, which which I showed you where it was at today. Yeah. Yeah, I showed them where AEW was at. Okay, so then we... This was followed, <laughs> well, I mean, FCW, yeah, whatever. AEW whatever. Whatever. might be running that building at the way they've been drawing. Oof. They might end up running that building the way they've been drawing. Depends on the market Oof. they keep running. Oof. So, uh, all right, so after that... We then got um, the four-way for the undisputed WWE title. AJ Styles, LA Knight, Randy Orton challenging Roman Reigns. I mean, everybody knew Roman was going to win. Yeah, I don't know if much. anyone in that building thought anybody else had a chance. No. But I think... The match was still enjoyable. The match was, was fun. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite four-way, but it was a good one. Uh, they worked hard. They all worked hard. Everybody had their spots. Like there was a spot where Randy was doing. He caught AJ in like more of a diamond cutter RKO yeah, from yeah. the top. Then so, so LA Knight mid air. He was AJ was on the top rope. Then I like that basically, more. Basically though. a super RKO. But I like that more. Yeah, I like that more. I gotta show you something after we record. Yes. Remind me. Um, remind me to show you something. And uh, and then um, uh, LA Knight did his like that elbow yeah. drop gimmick, the yeah elbow or whatever it's called. What's it called? I have no idea if he has, it has a name. Board, but it's like he, he did does that. The yeah. Elbow. So at one point, Solo saves. Okay, remind me of what happened. Solo saved Roman from was it AJ? No, it's like okay. or was it the RKO? He was about to. I think it was the RKO. The ref was counting. Solo pulled the pulled ref the ref out. out. Right. Yeah. right. 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 Yeah. And then Solo went mm -hmm. to go attack AJ through the barricade. AJ moved, so he yeah. took it. Yeah. 
That's after he dropped like a Randy Orton LA Knight. Right, 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 right. Because right, remember, right. they're yeah. both stacked. They were stacked, yeah. And they thought that they were teasing doing the the, the, the WrestleMania 37 which finish. I, which I legit thought would happen. Yeah. Remember? Would night. We, we were at that show, bro. Yeah. We were at, I was with Draven, mm-hmm. and when Roman pit, stacked him and pinned him, yeah. he looks at me and he goes, they put him over huge. And I told him, I go, I told Ray Draven, I go, that's their guy right now. And later that night, I heard Wrestling Observer Radio, and Dave Meltzer was like, this is their guy. Yeah. Like, that's their guy. You can just tell. Like, when they have a heel, not only beat your top two baby faces, but stack them like that, yeah. they're making them into a monster. Ew. That's never been done before. That's never been done before. Like, that's new. We've never yeah. seen, not even an ECW. No. These are Heyman ideas that he was going to use in ECW that he's been holding on to all these and years. And <laughs> somewhere in yeah. the back. I'm, t- I'm telling you, bro. Because you know, you know, that's a, if you know anything about Paul Heyman and how he books... That's a Paul Heyman thing. If yeah. we, be, we watched ECW for a year, right? You and I. Yeah. Not Carol. She just started joining us for yeah. the recent episodes. Tell me the one thing about Paul Heyman that struck me more than anything else about his booking. He always puts heat on the fucking heels a lot. This just incredible, bro, for a whole year would not get pinned. He yeah. would just whack people with the fucking cane. Remember how, mm-hmm. how we would watch the pay-per-views and we'd... He'd come this close to losing. He'd yeah, always eke out a win. Thinking, okay, this this is the moment he's gonna get. His and that's what I'm saying. And it's the same thing with Carino. Like Heyman likes to have his heels like win a lot. Like yeah. heels will win for like two years. Raven mm-hmm. beat Tommy Dreamer in every match they had for from '95 to '97, two years straight Damn. until Raven was leaving, mm-hmm. and then Tommy won the last match. Wow. Which on we, we watched that here. Yeah. I showed it to you, Wrestlepalooza, where he lifted mm-hmm. his leg. He gets the war too. Then he's like crying because he because he pinned him. And then Joey Styles is like, finally, Tommy Dreamer has beaten Raven. And then the lights went out. Yeah. The lights came uh-huh. back up, and it was fucking and it was fucking uh, Jim Court. No, it was it was Jerry Lawler. Yeah. Sabu and RVD. Mm-hmm. This bingo all to build out toilet paper is nothing in it but shit. I'm I'm going into my ECW trance now, bro. Let's get back to the show. To the show. <laughs> I'm going into my trance now, bro. Mm-hmm. When we know when it's old wrestling, when the business was the business, I go into these trances where I start to like, <laughs> you know how, okay, you remember in X-Men Age of Futures, or Days of Futures Past, how? I have not seen X-Men Days of Future Past. Oh, crap. We're doing that tonight after we get done here. No. Okay, probably not, probably not, probably, probably not, not, probably not. We're not going to have But, that. but, 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 I, I'm shocked you haven't seen that one. Have you seen any of their X-Men movies? Um, my boyfriend and I went through... The first two X Men movies. I saw the third one on my own. I still need to see First Class and Days of Future Past. Well, the first two are. The I was told not to see Apocalypse. <laughs> no, don't see anything after Days. Yes. Yeah. Don't don't see Dark Phoenix. That's that that that's worse than Apocalypse. No, but uh, you saw one and two. Yes. So one and two were great for me. It's one, two, Days of Future Past. Those are the three like really good ones. Yeah. First class is all right, but anyways, we're talking about X Men. So the four way, um, mm-hmm. it was fine. Roman Reigns. Who do you, who do you pin? Was it? It wasn't Randy. It was. Uh, was it was AJ, it was right? AJ, AJ took he the pin. Yeah, because AJ's was, going heel. Yeah. So he took the pin. Yeah. Yeah, and Orton just came back. So after the match, there was no Rock. Were you disappointed at that? Okay, considering the match lineup at that went second, no. No. If if it was closing the show, I would have been like, okay, something's probably gonna happen. That's fair. No. I I just thought that if they were gonna do the Rock Roman, this is what I thought. If they actually changed it to Rock Roman, which I knew they didn't. But if they actually fucking changed it, then I feel like that would have been the moment to have Rock come out. Because yeah. yeah. when when, when Paul that. put him with the fucking like yeah, right that's right that moment on the camera it. and the WrestleMania 40 logos behind yeah. him, right? Yeah. I was like, okay, they might be here. Because then the Rock's gonna take the fucking thing and yeah, put it on himself. Because that would be the perfect moment to like have his music play. Right, 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 as right, right, right. And they didn't yeah. do it, so that's what told me they're not going with it. Um, then we had the. Kevin Owens, Logan Paul, U.S. title match. This was, it was felt like a bathroom break, and I went to yeah. go get water during this too. So like it was, it was of the, it wasn't of the four matches. This is the one that was the least like important. Yeah. But once again, Logan Paul's awesome. Kevin Owens is awesome. Logan Paul hung in there for a guy who has less than two years of experience, something like that, right? Two years. Like closing down two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nothing, but um. The finish. And I told y'all this. That finish 
was such a fucking WWF 80s fucking finish. That finish was right out of... Like, that That was a dusty finish. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. The only difference would have been if Kevin Owens... The only way that would have been more dusty is if Kevin got the if three Kevin count three, and they, another referee came out and told say, the main like, no, referee, right, no, he had him with the nuts. But what they could have done is had that and then had a third referee come out and say, yeah, but Logan brought in the nuts. Logan they had to double disqualification. Yeah. Right. They've done that before. That's a classic 80s and 90s wrestling screw job finish. That's what you get. The baby face is about to win and then, oh, he's got a weapon. That's classic wrestling. And the fact that the fact that we haven't seen that finish in at least 15 years made me kind of enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Back then, in 2024, we can get that. Are you... Are you is it just me? And if it is just me, I'm okay with it. But no, is it just me because I'm the old school fan? No. So you you kind of see how that finish wasn't yeah. like a DQ. Like it, it, okay, if I had told you yesterday, Kevin Owens went by DQ, it would have been like yeah. grown. Just yeah. just here, right? be like, I would have been like, like, oh, I don't know about that DQ finish in 2024 right. against Logan. But the way they did it, the way they did yeah. it, it was like okay, it makes oh, more okay. Sense here. It was it was like. He, like, like he grabbed the nuts and Kevin got him. Kevin got him. Hit him. Hit him. We thought we saw justice served. Yes. Yes. Every, everybody thought, but like, and I'm watching it. The ref's going one, two. Ref sees the nuts. He's like, hey, wait a minute. Ah. Uh, the one mistake. The ref Kevin is actually mistake. smart now. Yeah. The refs are smart now. <laughs> the ref actually did yeah. something smart. Right. Actually, look at the freaking hands. So, where do you think Kevin Owens goes for WrestleMania? Like he could probably go, probably go anywhere. Right? I know, but what what and would be a good opponent for him? I was thinking in my head, Sami Zayn, but they've done that so much. They've already, already done that. So. I know they've done that already. That's what I'm saying. They did it three years ago. So right, I know. And, and remember, this is Kevin Owens that's coming off having a match with Austin and <clears throat> tag teaming with Sami. Right, right, Sammy right, right. He'll be on the card. I know <laughs> that. But yeah. what is he gonna do on the card? Do you think they should maybe like do one of those like? those multi-man ladder matches type of thing for like the U.S. title or the Intercontinental or something like that. If Brock is not going to do the Gunther match, right? Let's say, so Bro- let's pretend that we don't know yet, but if Brock yeah. and Gunther's off, who is a good opponent for Gunther for WrestleMania now? He's already beaten Drew. He's already yeah. beaten Shane. He's already beaten Chad Gable. Who else could it be? All right. Priest? Heel versus Heel? Okay, that could probably work. I'm trying. I'm trying to stay with Finn Raw because I got one obvious answer. But that's just well, who is your stuff. obvious answer? Dragon off. Like you bring up, you bring up Dragon off for like a match. With a I think they would have already brought him up by now. If yeah, they were gonna do right that. now. He's champion, so they're getting the title to make up for the fact that he's been banged up the last time. He got no, it. no, no, no. You're right. What about what, 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 what do you match Gunther up, up right with now. at WrestleMania mm-hmm. if if it's not Brock? Who else on that roster? I mean, anybody would be good, but who would be good but also WrestleMania worthy? For Gunther? For Gunther. Uh, yeah. Uh, remember, he's already fun. beaten Drew. He's already beaten yeah. uh, Sheamus. He's already beaten Chad Gable. He's, he's already, already beaten like, The Miz. He's already... Most of the mid-card guys he's cleaned out. I would have, Three, I would have him much. against Damian Priest and Judgment Day then. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Damian Priest. He's he's maybe... He oversees okay. yeah. Maybe you're Dem- Damian Priest or you do numbers with Jack. We know Jey Uso is going to go against Jimmy Uso. Yeah. yeah. That's... I mean, I called that last that's, year. That's pretty much yeah. a given. I called that before SummerSlam and... The fact they were one and two in the Rumble, because I told you when the Rumble started, I said, I said it could be Cody number one, but then when Jay came out number one, I was like, like, Jimmy's oh, number, two. Yeah, Jimmy. number two, and he was number two. And, and remember, remember, I'm always right about number. everything, bro. I should play the lottery more. <laughs> That'd be something. I should. So no, but that okay. So, Damien, is there anybody else? What about Braun Breaker? Oh, Braun Breaker's a good Braun one. Yeah. Why not? You got Brock Lesnar, the amateur fucking big monster, and then you got Braun Breaker, the amateur fucking big yeah. monster, younger version. And if, if if Walter, if Gunther beats him, it'll be a good win, but it won't hurt. Uh, it won't hurt. It hurt Breaker. Breakers no. at all. Why can't they call him fucking Bronson Steiner, bro? That's a fucking cool name, Braun Steiner. Yeah, but remember, he came up like right like when NXT 2.0 started. So I know, and so. it was Vince. Yeah, so Change, that's but if they why. change Butch back to Pete Dunn, that is true. That is true. <laughs> what about Pete Dunn and Walter at WrestleMania? I mean, we know they can have a good match. Mm. I, I know, even even though Dunn's on SmackDown, no, fuck it, fucking do it. Doesn't matter, bro. They do exactly. interpromotional. All that's right, right, so then we had the Men's Royal Rumble. Jimmy and Jay were one and two. Three was um. Bailey. 
No, that's no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're in the men's rumble now. It's been what a are long you, day. It's been a long day, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, third was. It's was okay. Nowadays, hard to tell. Number three was Grayson Waller. Yes, Grayson Waller. And then four was Andrade. Yeah. I popped for Andrade. I was so happy to see him. Mm-hmm. And they even, his music even said El Idolo. So yeah. I, he might be bringing that over. He's still going to be Andrade Cien Almas, but he might be Andrade El Idolo Almas. Right. Mm-hmm. But they had a spot with him and Santos. And um, like, look like Santos was like, hey. But he's going to throw him out now, yeah. and, and he didn't. Like, um, hey, who, who threw Andrade out? Who, who eliminated him? Andrade. You're looking it up, bro. Yeah. You got to do yeah. it by memory, bro. Bronson Reed. Really? Yeah. That jabroni? Yeah, Bronson Reed. I can't believe it was that guy. That was like Cody or somebody who mattered. Okay, <laughs> so. Okay, no, so. Bronson Reed's all right. No, it was. So what they did was they kind of put, like with the first Rumble, they put a lot of surprises early on to kind of carry the Rumble. Um, some later guys that joined the Rumble late, which surprised me, are guys like Sami Zayn and Ricochet because both those guys are cardio guys. So you want to kind of put them out early, yeah. but they didn't. Jimmy and Jay went in there. They went at it. It was it was fun. They had a great stare down. Um no Brock, we mentioned that. Gunther went at, what, 15, something like that? 15? No, no, Cody was 15. Mm. Cody was 15. Yeah, Cody. So yeah. Gunther would have been, what, 12? He was there first, right? No, 12 was Ludwig. Cody, Ludwig. Ludwig was 12. Yeah. Gun- Gunther was number 18. Yeah. 18, okay. Yeah, because yeah, Ludwig Kaiser was in this, but he didn't, it wasn't the other one, the other no, guy. No, no, Giovanni Vinci, he's still out. He ain't, he ain't clear. He's not clear, okay. He's still okay. out. No, I didn't know. I didn't know he was. Yeah. He was. He was hurt. Okay, so um, that's fine. That's right. He had that. They not got knocked Cause, out. Because yeah. remember, he jumped into into the area. Kofi drop kicked him right in the face. That's oof. a real move. Imagine that. Yeah. So okay. So oh, speaking of which, Kofi was in this. No biggie yet. So he's either not ready. He might never be ready. Although that that pre Royal Rumble interview where. They ask, yes, where they ask the New Day who they like to work, and Kofi says the Young Bucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Big 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 like, yeah. What? Like, what? what? You just in it out there? We'd love to wrestle the Young Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I've said that if they're going to do something like that, the Usos against the Young Bucks, bro. Yeah. That's going to have the record for the most super kicks thrown in any match yeah, ever. Damn. Let them do an hour, and it'll be nothing but like super half kicks. Like half it would just be super kicks. That's, mm-hmm. that's what I want. Am I selfish for wanting that? No. Just had to be super kicks, nothing yeah, else. Just maybe out. maybe some some top rope stuff. Yeah, right. All right, so um, I'm trying to remember the middle part of the rumble, bro. Were there, was there anything that stuck out to you? Because the surprises were fine. No like legends, like no Undertaker yeah. or anything yeah. like that. They pretty much didn't bother with legends. With both. Not 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 really. Um, nobody from TNA except for the women. Yeah, because we hypothesized, oh, they'll probably get like maybe like Josh Alexander yeah, Josh or Alex Moons, Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley, right? Yeah, Shaver, no, maybe no. I don't know. Was so okay. So and, and we didn't get a Kofi spot. CM, yeah, we did not get a Kofi spot. No. So CM Punk was number what 20, 27. 27. and that's the magic number because twenty seven is the one that's won the most rumbles. Yep, number twenty seven. So he came out. Um, Cody didn't do much early. It really they saved a lot of his stuff for later in the match. Um, I'm trying to think. Omos was in there. I'm trying to remember what happened with Omos. Who threw Omos out? A Braun Breaker. That's right. Braun yeah. Breaker didn't get... Oh, Braun Breaker... in there for like two minutes. So the NXT guys that were here were... Um, not Trick Williams. Um, no. Even though... Even though I'm pretty sure like a lot of people there wish. Yeah. I, I thought he was going to be <laughs> in. So it was um, Braun Breaker. Mm-hmm. Braun Breaker, Carmelo. Hayes Carmelo. Carmelo. And that's for, it. For the women... It was, it was no, for the men. We're the yeah, men's now. Yeah, we're the men's now. We're the men's now, yeah. Okay, so that happened. And um, Braun Breaker had a pretty good showing. He had like a, he, he had a showing like I'm coming up to the main roster now. Yeah, yeah. Like it's weird and that it's, not it's the taken first time this they've long. seen him like on the main roster because he had a match on Raw with Dolph. Right, and he he appeared I think like three times on Raw. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, so like same with Carmelo, they, he's popping up on SmackDown. Right, but I'm saying that felt more like now he's coming up. Maybe I'm wrong, right. but why yeah. has he not been brought up? He's ready. Right? Braun Breaker's been ready they for a year. For a feel, they probably feel yeah. like they don't have somebody that could, you know. Well, now that Brock is out, that's the perfect guy to put up against yeah. Gunther, yeah. bro. That's it. True. I mean, you could do Hayes against Gunther as well. You can even do that if you want. Ooh. Ooh. What? You don't like that? Not I bad. like, I like, you don't like that, that match? That'd be a hell of a match. I know. But what's the problem? Why are you saying, ooh? Like, nah, nah. 
I'm not. I'm not hating on the man. Oh, I thought you were saying like you were disgusted. No, by no. It. Okay. No, because okay. I'm literally just thinking about it right now. It's okay. Like, so they obviously made Jimmy versus Jay in this. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, what else is there to talk about besides the finishing sequence? The final six were Gunther, Drew. The last four were Gunther, Drew, Cody, Punk, and Punk. Cody. Right. Yep. Yeah. And it became kind of split. very good final four. Right. 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 Yeah. Because any of those guys could have won. Yeah. Uh, I think Drew was probably the least likely, and he yes. was thrown out. Who threw him out? Punk threw him out. Punk, Punk threw him out. out cause Punk he threw him out. But you know, you know why they threw him out, right? Drew was talking shit to Punk, and then Punk threw him out. Do you know why though? Why they did that? Why? So if Seth isn't ready by WrestleMania, right. Drew is the backup. Mm, so they're kind of yeah. building a reason for them to have the match. So what they'll probably do is either have the chamber have Punk win that or if, if they don't know or maybe they'll have Punk win nah, it and, Punk win and it, then you got the when, we, when we find out right when we find out that Seth is hurt they could do another like four way mm-hmm. or something any match whatever on Raw Battle Royal and then Drew Rackenberg can win that mm-hmm. and then they say that but he doesn't win the title they the title's up and then at WrestleMania Drew versus Punk the winner becomes the new champion right. kind of like an interim title but not really right it, of course, it all depends on you know how Seth. That's all depends on Seth, but that's what I'm saying. Drew Which, is the backup. Drew yeah. is the backup, so and he's a good backup. I mean, he's the only other top guy that would be a new match for Punk. Really, that's like outside of like Gunther, and then we're gonna save yeah, that yeah, for yeah. later. Punk and Gunther would be a good one, but they're not doing that. Yeah. So Punk. So during this sequence, they actually cut to the back and they show Roman and Seth. They cut to them in like luxury boxes, yeah. luxury suites, and that was interesting. Because I've never seen that. No, before. and no, that's because that's because they're telegraphing that it'll be Punk and Cody against mm-hmm. those two guys in two separate matches. I like that. It kind of reminds me of in um, in two thousand seven, where you had like the Sean and Cena, and they were main eventing Raw, and you yeah. had Batista yeah. and Taker SmackDown. SmackDown, and they had that match on that February show where it was. Batista and Taker against Cena and Sean. Yeah. Is she the Cena and Sean were the tag champions? Exactly. Until the go-home <laughs> show. No, it was after, I think. No, it was after, after WrestleMania. After WrestleMania. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that build-up. Oh, I love that 07 build-up, dude. That was one of the best. That's one of the best Mania build-ups ever. Amen. So, um, I loved it. So, okay, but with this one's good so far. So, they had a lot of back and forth. Cody was, Cody threw out Gunther. So, it was Gunther, or it was Cody and, and Punk. Yeah. The last two, of course. They had some back and forths. Cody it ends up that obvious, right? And they had mm-hmm. some good, like they they did each other's finishers on each yeah. other, like they did that. Cody is probably still going to be on Raw, but he's gonna have to make appearances on SmackDown or yeah. or on Raw Monday. They might just say Cody's going for the SmackDown title, so he's gonna go to SmackDown and just let him go. Yeah, yeah, just let him go. Because now you probably- like what happened with Benoit when he won and yeah. went to Raw. Cause Cause just showed up one, on Raw. That one, everybody probably figured, okay, he's probably gonna go with the title because you know SmackDown. Because at the at the time there wasn't like, what, what, they didn't specify that. Oh, you could make a choice. Right, of course. They figured, okay, yeah, because Roman was the only champion. No, no, I'm talking about back then. Oh, I think I'm talking about back like then, last cause, year because it was the rule. The whole thing was like, oh, hey, you win the Rumble, you fight your brand's champion. That was, right. In 04 was the first year that mm-hmm. Benoit. Because when Benoit won the Rumble, everybody thought it was gonna be Benoit against. Uh, Brock or Benoit against Angle, which would have been good right. matches, because remember they did that thing on SmackDown before then where, where Paul Heyman like he didn't fire Heyman, him, like, but nah, he made his life miserable. Made his life miserable. So him, you'll never get a shot at a title yes. again. So he wins the Rumble. It's okay, that's just sticking in Paul's yeah. face. It's then like, he shows up on Raw instead. It's like yeah, they move him to Raw. Like, that okay. was good shit though. I like that shit. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't like if you remember for the Benoit build, they didn't keep him on SmackDown. He yeah. moved to it's Raw like, like just, well, the, the very right next. Then and there. Night on Raw, he was there. He never went SmackDown again yeah. until he got until, drafted. Until a year later. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So, so with Cody, they could just have him show up on SmackDown. Exactly. And that's it. Right. Begin the build. That's it. You have the reasons, like okay. And you've got Punk on Raw. Yeah. Unless they really need Cody on Raw, they should just do that. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, any moments you want to talk about before we get out of here in the men's mm-hmm. Rumble? In the men's mm-hmm. Rumble. Did you like it? Were you disappointed? I liked it. Yeah. I didn't like it as much 2020, winner? but I liked it. You can't. You can't really go wrong with like. Back to back, um, back to back, but you also can't go wrong. Hulk Hogan like, won back to back. Form. Yeah, isn't that great? It is great. You know who also won back to back that I care more about? Shawn Michaels. You know who else? Well, you know who won back to back that I care more about? <laughs> Steve Austin. There Dude. we go. That's fair. <laughs> Even though he cheated in '97 because he got thrown out and then went back in and threw Brett out. Hey, hey, Brett was the winner of that remember, rumble. Remember, not his fault. The referees didn't see it. So, 
No, but he still cheated. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not saying it's, I love Steve Austin, <laughs> but he did cheat. He was a heel back then. Exactly. And he's the only guy to ever do that. He's the only guy to get eliminated and then get back in and win. Only got to do that. But can you imagine if you were an Austin fan and you actually thought he was going to go to WrestleMania and headlining for the title and he never got that? that? Point, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the final four. So, yeah, I like the show. Um, no bonuses. Cody cut a great promo after the show. He pointed at Roman Reigns when he won the <laughs> title. Uh, he pointed at the suite he was in. And he cut a promo about how Tampa and St. Pete is dusty country, which it is. Um, so it's fitting that he wins the Rumble here. Yeah. And now he's going to go on to WrestleMania. And I love how Jay versus Jimmy is going to be in the city of brotherly love. <laughs> that's that's going to be good I shit. I pointed that out. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Because you're from there. Yeah. You live there right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I live here. So you get WrestleMania. I got the Rumble. SummerSlam. Where's SummerSlam going to be at? Oh, Germany? I don't think they announced. No, no. you're thinking Bash in Berlin. That's right. Yeah. And then they had the French show. Which one's the, the Money in the Bank? The is French show is Money in the Bank. That's in, that's in that's June. A, yeah, right, that's right, right. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm guessing that SummerSlam will be in America. Yeah. Or maybe Canada. One of those two. I don't see it being overseas. Right. Yeah. Not that one. Not yet. They would They would have done overseas by now. Well, again. Well, they did. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. They did. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyways, I liked the show. I, it was fine. It was about as good as SummerSlam was. There was no moment on the show that made me, like, really, like, feel the things that I felt for Brock and Cody with that handshake. Right. And I know, yeah. I know that Brock, I understand that Brock's, like, controversy now, but, like, Back then, we didn't know. Plus, I'm talking about the Brock Lesnar character. Yes. How he shook Cody's hand. He passed the torch to him. And that, once again, solidifies that he's going to be the guy to take out Roman. Yeah. Brock's yeah. already been in that position. Now it's Cody's turn. It's beautiful. It's yes. beautiful. Booker of the year. Triple H, Booker of the year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, so it was a good show? Awesome show. Definitely. I liked it. All right. So that'll do it. Uh, I don't know how long this went. Let's see. 51 minutes. All right. Longer than normal, but that's okay. Anyways, y'all take care. See you soon.